outside in the sun. Oh yeah, we should. Hello everybody, just thought I would start this vlog because I haven't started it yet, but I have been filming a few little clips. I'm here at Joe and Diane. Yo, 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 welcome. Yay. Um, we don't often come here and just have like chilled weekends of like no work, yeah. no event, no anything else that we need to be here for. And because and Alfie and I- I'm not you to come this time. I know. <laughs> I'll send you an invoice yeah. afterwards. <laughs> And Alfie and I obviously haven't left Brighton in like over four months and uh, all the places you could have gone after lockdowns lifted from the holiday to London. <laughs> um, but no, it's so nice. The weather's amazing this and your, sorry, this is probably your only, your only holiday of the year. Well, yeah, it probably yeah, will be. Don't say that. That's so sad, isn't it? Sad. You've got you've got a month left of technically summer and then it's done. No, actually, when we were in the park earlier, we noticed there's some autumn leaves floating down yeah. already. Aww. Conker trees are turning orange. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah we just you thought. Love an autumn I do. Day, so I do. Oh, you do, you don't you? Yeah, you love those. They're color, I love the a conker. Palette. I love the autumn colour palette. In fact, I did say, oh, this would be a lovely park in autumn. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're here for the weekend just to have a nice time, hang out, spend some time out of Brighton. Oh, tonight? Yeah, outdoor off, cinema, I reckon. Outdoor Only cinema. Smell my feet. Do I have to? Oh, I've done it, and it's actually pretty nice. Hold my ankle. I, I thought you were going to put your ass in my Strong, isn't it? National mind. Like What's nice. mine like? like vinegar. Why is this a game? <laughs> <laughs> smell Alfie's. They smell, smell of oh, nothing. Smell no, your smell of nothing. Your smells I reckon of, yours is smell. Your smells of salt. Oh my god, your smells of like actual washing powder. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's wool. That's very good flexibility. <laughs> do that again. Can you not do Let's that? see. Oh, you obviously can. No, I don't think I can. Like I. Can, I can put it behind my head. I, I cannot do that. I have very tight hip joints. I can't do that because he can do it too. <gasps> Yeah, Joe can chew his own toenails. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can put it behind my head. We're going now to Convent Garden. Right. Where are we going? Convent. <laughs> I don't know Garden. why I can't say Covent. It's weird. It needs to have an Convent Garden. Look at this, Zoe, on the um, roof. Are you ready? Guns. Three, two, one. Your oh, favourite. What's that called, that roundabout? Wellington Arch. It's not, I don't think it's even a roundabout. It's just Wellington Arch is like such a big. We, can we thought that we would, instead of jumping around in different taxis all day, um, obviously we have our masks and we have our hand sanitizer, and as much as possible, we are all being very, very safe. We thought it would be better for us to drive around um, in our own vehicle, uh, but driving in central London just isn't my favourite. So Alfie has designated Uber driver today. I don't you mind don't it. mind it, but no. there is that one roundabout, the one roundabout that actually put me off driving around London, which has got like how many lanes? Like a lot. Five lanes and like six exits. It's the Wellington Arch roundabout. I feel like if people live or use London, use London, <laughs> come to London a lot, you'll know the exact roundabout I mean. We started off this morning, we went for breakfast to a lovely park and it was lovely 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 and then we drove over to Fulham and we went to Flavortown Bakery which is the amazing bakery that has done literally all of our birthday cakes <laughs> mm. oh. we first one was Joe's Strictly cake yeah. for his birthday yeah yeah and then you and then me and then Diane yeah. You've had a few. I've had a few, yeah. We've shout all had a few. We've Roxy, had a... Antoine and the rest of the uh, rest Exactly, of the shout out. Um, we just love them, they're great. And we wanted to come and support them after COVID. So we headed we've down. And we've shop. never been into the actual shop. So we wanted to go in. Bourbon, which is wow. chocolate sponge with chocolate custard oh in the middle God. and chocolate icing. Oh my word. Medium chocolate, last slice of rainbow, red velvet Oreo, oh. uh, rainbow sprinkle cake, which has got like, um, it's vanilla and it's got vanilla cheese cake inside um, with different colours in it. And then we've got red velvet cookie oh. sandwiches, 
uh, black chocolate cookies, milk chocolate cookies, confetti chocolate cookies, and those have got Reese's peanut butter chips in them and raspberry. Oh. Brownies. Yeah, I was eyeing brownie. that one up. That looks insane. That's, um, that's brownie, caramel, nougat and chocolate. Oh. That's salted caramel, that's gluten free. And these are something that um, Chloe, our kitchen manager, learned how to make when she worked in Australia. Oh. And it's like a billionaire slice. The base is like a flapjack with coconut in it. Apparently Ooh, it's like a... Nice. She used to do, she used to do the catering from Melbourne Cup. Oh, uh, nice. yeah. to make, they used to make them, I think, for the Melbourne Cup. Wow. So that's so she like them over there. Then today's specials, they are, they're filled with the yeah. bueno filling from Kinder. So it's got Kinder Bueno filling, Kinder Bueno icing, and a Kinder Bueno ice cream. And that's chocolate, Sorry. custard, <laughs> cheesecake, chocolate cheesecake icing, and a mini cookie. Yeah. Oh my god. And all the flavors as well. Okay. Whoa. Let's make some decisions. <laughs> And now we've come back, had a little recharge. Joe's had a poo. Mm, I've got riddles. Yeah. Anyone else need a poo? On, we're, not, we're not leaving until you answer everyone needs riddles. Okay, go on. <laughs> the one who makes it sells it. The one who buys it never uses it. The one that uses it never knows that he's using it. What is it? Say it one more time. The one who makes it sells it. The one who buys it never uses it. The one that uses it never knows that he or she is using it. What is it? Car. No. Do you got any of you guys know? So the one that makes it. The one that makes it. The one who makes it sells it. The one who buys it never uses it. The one that uses it never knows that they're, that they're using it. What, what is it? What the hell? It's actually really easy. The one who buys it. Wait. The one who makes it sells it. Yeah. The one yeah. Who makes it sells it. Yeah. The one who buys it never uses it. The one that uses it doesn't know they're using it. What's the it. first one again? The one who makes it sells it. C can we get some clues? Is it a person or an object? I feel like we'll get it if we give it's us a an minute. Object. Someone will get it, yeah. The one who makes this object sells it. The one who buys it doesn't use it. Robot. The one that does use it, no. The one that does use it doesn't know they're using it. I think it's that last bit that's the key. What is something we don't know we're using? Is it? Is it just that it's like second nature? No. Oh. Toilet. No. I, I, I mostly know when Here's I'm a using clue. the toilet. At one point, <laughs> I don't know about you. Here's a clue. Here's a clue. At one point, the person who makes it would actually end up using, using it. At one point. Wood or would it? It's made out of wood. Paper. No. no newspaper. Because you know you're using toilet paper or not. Newspaper. No. Because you know that you're using it. What don't you know if you're using? Food, drink, Think. Water. How, how would you not know you're using? Have to happen to you to not know that you're using something. It's something to do with sleep. Dreaming. Right. Yeah, it's going to be some kind of like putting you to sleep device, kind of like or like medication. No. Thing. Is it not? No. But you have to just say it. I can't handle riddles. Me I have to Google really them. Me. Yeah. yeah. The one who makes it sells it. So there's someone who makes these objects. I bet. I, I bet there's so many comments now of everyone being there's like, "How do you not know what this out is?" Who makes these objects um, as a career is to make these objects. Is it a they very? They sell it to someone who's buying it for, not for themselves. No, they're buying this object off someone who makes them to use for someone else. <gasps> what? No, I have no idea. Oh. I'm really just trying to trick you. No, I have no idea. <laughs> And at some point, they're going to need one. Oh. At some point, your family, they're going to need one of these. Potentially, if you decide to go on that route. The one Come on, I'm giving you all the oh, clues. Oh, okay, like a mobility scooter. No, but you're, do you know what, you're, you're kind of on the right line. A car. No. That's so it's oh, for Old an elderly people. person, for an elderly. Think. The one who makes it, sells it. The one who buys it, never uses it. They're never going to use it. Because it's for someone else. But I will, know, I will. They, no, but they don't know they're using it. Coffin. Yes! Oh, oh she yes. got it! Oh that was deep. God. A coffin. Yeah. Oh, that is the deep. Who, the one who makes it sells it. Yeah. The one who buys it never uses it. That was the one who uses it never know they're using it. Bloody hell. Oh. That was so simple. That was so simple. Man, you smashed it. I can't believe that I well got that. Well done. That was great. Should we go to Covent Garden? Let's yeah. go to Covent Garden. The Uber's arrived. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>
To the, all the songs. Can you put that on? Can you put it on? Yeah, shall we? My hole makes noises. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your hole makes noises. <laughs> if it seems like I did, I'm probably waiting outside. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I never need another. When we have our family dinner, you, you can, can ask my mother. She's the best. I we'll learn all about her on our family history test. I'm gonna do this right. <laughs> Show you I'm not. Wherever you go, I won't be hard to follow You'll learn what I already know I love you means you're never ever ever getting rid of me We've made it to Covent Garden We're just having a little mooch around It's actually, it's quite busy here isn't it? Yeah, it's busy. yeah. Um, but I haven't just like looked around here in so long. It's I just love being here. It's such a nice part of London. What are you doing, Diane? Just get me in here. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, top load. I'm so excited. I'm, too. I'm nervous. Why? It's nervous for us. <laughs> Imagine when I have a baby, Joe. No, because you know why? Because I like... know from this point on, all I'm going to get in my ear is, oh, Joe, it's so painful at, the, and, at night when she's, she's going to sleep on it as well, 100%. So I know which way she sleeps, she's going to lie on get it. Get a travel pillow. Yeah, we've got, yeah, I've got, I've got a travel pillow. Yeah. 20 blade travel pillows. I reckon it'll be alright. It's a little pressure. Nice, quickie, Brecky. Oh my god. Is that it? Yes. That literally oh, took. I didn't even feel that. Honestly, that didn't even help. I didn't even blink. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, is it? <laughs> We're currently outside on Joe and Diane's balcony and Joe set up a projector so that we could come out and watch a film. I have, but it's signal. You keep losing the signal. Keep losing the signal, keep having issues. Does that normally happen? No. Joseph. Joe's here. No, it's like... <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Oh, we've just been out for breakfast. I forgot to film it, sorry about that. And we are shortly gonna be heading out to Notting Hill Way, have a little mooch around Portobello Road and see what's happening. It's a very lovely sunny Sunday, so hopefully it's quite vibey. Um, yesterday, Joe taught me 
on the ukulele how to play the chords for um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Let me see if I can do it. I'm not as good as Joe. This is gonna take me a while, I think. Cue a lot of editing. Ready, Al? This is for you. It also sounds a lot like um, I'm Yours by Jason Mraz instead of um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. <laughs> Ones. And then I got one for Alfie's mum and dad because we're going to go and pick Nala up. They've had Nala this weekend, so I thought it'd be nice to get them one. And I got them the apple crumble and fitch. Let me just film them because they look so good. Which one did you go for? I went for this one. Just a classic one. I just don't feel like anything too. Yeah, so it's got Nutella, just a few cinnamon sugar. And then that's the one I got for your parents, but they are insane. What's the story in Balamori? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> What's the story in Balamori? Where would you like to go? <laughs> a little photo shoot. I've not heard that song before. That must be a very English song. It's so an English. It was written by Ed Sheeran about four years ago. Shut mm -hmm. up. Yeah. <laughs> How do I not know that? Big one. Do you know what? me and Ed go? You never back? heard it. You never heard it on Radio What? What's the story of Balamori by Ed? This house has little monkeys climbing up it and it's like the coolest thing ever. Oh, there's even one on the actual roof. Yeah, I know. While I'm here, Just loved these beautiful, colourful houses, so we thought we would pop up. Say hello. It is so hot. It is really hot, isn't it? We're about to head home, but before we do, <laughs> we're having one quick game of Would I Lie to You, which we played on. When do we play it? Friday night. That doesn't feel so night. long ago. It does. Um, we played it on Friday night, and I loved it. It's so funny. Um, the teams on Friday were me and Mark versus Joe. What are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. So keep still. What are you doing? <laughs> Let me see. Oh god. Um, but this time we're going to do me and Diane versus Joe and Alfie because I think we'll be able to tell when they're lying. I always say I one of my too, actually. Yeah. Oh, I always say one I of my we'll special Don't skills is to be able to tell when someone <laughs> is lying, which is why I always think that I can be. <laughs> Which is why I always think that I would be a good detective. Um, but we're gonna have a little try now, so we'll see. I think we'll win, but you know. Go on. Go on then. In Portugal, it is considered rude to write a letter in red ink or a shed. Um, a shed, for sure. Red ink. Rude to write in a shed. 
Oh yeah, no, I mean red ink. Yeah. Yeah, I meant red ink. Red ink. The truth is red ink. Yeah. In Portugal, it's considered rude to write a letter in red ink or a shed. Red ink. Red ink. Red ink. Red ink. Yes. <sighs> what made you say shed? Yeah, that's ridiculous. I don't want any boring go blue ink. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, like I'll try and make it such a <laughs> Okay. Red forward, please. I can't believe I put a shed. Give me. Okay, go on, Diane. Some credit. That was quick. That was quick. It was quick. It was quick. It was quick. Okay, yeah, we need to be quick. Four. One, two, three, four. Ring of truth. There you go. Have that. Go on. Cool. Okay, we need a pencil, don't we? Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. One. Don't you worry. Right. Oh, we've had that one. We've had that before. Um, so, Emma Stone convinced her parents to let her take up acting by showing them a musical, a script of a musical she wrote, yeah. a recording of her drama lessons, a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, that PowerPoint. Do you reckon? That'd be quite funny. I feel like these guys wouldn't write PowerPoint because that's too weird. But like, I think it was the, I think the first one. What she wrote a Which musical? Which was the truth? Yeah. What? Wait, who are we doing? Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Yeah, Emma Stone's never even been in a musical, is she? La La Land. Oh, I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, PowerPoint presentation. Mm, I feel like that one. What do you think? I think. I don't think it's that. What was the second one? Uh, a recording of her drama lessons. Like, that's quite obvious. You wouldn't need to convince your parents to make you an actress if you've already, if they're, they're already paying for you to go to drama le lessons. It's like, why would I have drama lessons? Why would we pay for drama lessons if you don't want, do you know what I mean? So I don't think it's that one. So you see a PowerPoint presentation or the first one. I um, feel like the first one is quite funny. Whatever that one was again, what was it? A script of a musical she wrote. Yeah, I feel like that could be quite good. They might look at me like, oh, she, do you know what? She's put some effort in. Fair dues. And you both Maybe make we'll her face when I say that. <laughs> but no, let's go PowerPoint presentation. Are you sure? Yeah, locking it in. PowerPoint presentation. Sure? Yeah. Yeah. Emma Stone convinced her parents yeah, to let her take up acting by showing them a PowerPoint yeah. presentation. <laughs> Do you know what? And I spoke about me making PowerPoint presentations in the past, Joe, so I thought maybe that would throw you off. Alfie, you'll go. Three. Three. Are we this? Quick fire lie. Quick fire. Alfie's good at lies. <laughs> Let's see if Alfie's a good liar. Longer than quick fire now, you just yeah, have to really go. Joe button. was so quick. Okay. Yeah, but we lost the point straight away. But I think <laughs> that's... Go. Go. In 1912, Carlo Pellegrini became the only person to win an Olympic gold medal for lemonade drinking. Pellegrino. Could be. The aren't options. The answer. <laughs> the answer is. Are. Option A. Singing. Option B. Painting. Olympic. An Olympic gold medal. Singing or a painting? Singing or painting. Singing or painting. painting. It's not Olympic, is it? Singing, so no. it must be painting. It mu yeah, oh, I reckon painting. I'm going to go with painting as well. Yeah. The answer is painting. Yes! Nice. 1912 won an Olympic gold medal for painting. That's, That's cool. That would be rare. Lie. Okay. Lie. This yeah, is. This one is a lie. It's a lie. Hey. Oh, hey. this is a picture. Yeah. Or oh, maybe with love. This is the White House. You might want to put your hand behind it. I can't see through it, but I'm just worried that you might. Be this is a face. picture of the White House. Yeah. The White House and the Playboy Mansion were the first two buildings to have an airport. Why is there a picture of just the White House and not the Playboy Mansion? It's a bit random. Just as the White House. Why would you not show the Playboy Mansion as well? Don't know. Yeah, weird. Also, an airport. Everyone's got like 
that kind the of. The first two when buildings. They build they build first two buildings. First yes. two buildings to Ever. have an so airport. Before any hotels, before any of that's a lie. Before. <laughs> that is such a lie. The first lie. two buildings. Ever to have an airport? Wait, wait, before a fucking airport, before Gatwick, before Gatwick. Gatwick's not a building. That is, of course, that's an airport. airport. It's got its own airport. What did you say first? Though you go, um. Wait, so it's a lie. It's a lie. She goes, she goes. She goes, 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 what could they they have that no other building would have first up? A wine like, cellar. Bowling alley. Yeah. The first. Yeah, the but bowling that's alley like date back okay. to like. Uh, yeah, but in a. Um, but like see? an airport in a house, like a you wouldn't. That could have been the first nah. house ever to yeah, have an airport. Yeah, nuclear bunker that can't yeah. ever be blown up. Yeah. Well. A candy that's... shop. That was actually really hard. Fifteen thousand women. That was women. We'll take that one. We were literally like. Dang it! Level, level yeah, we, didn't, we didn't get that one. What are you looking at? Uh, this is uh, sign language. I'm looking at sign language. So, okay. The equivalent of tongue twisters in American sign language are called finger fumblers. No, uh, tell no, me now what the, what the picture the, is. The version of t tongue twisters in, in sign language are called finger fumblers. Right. So if you, if you sign language read lorry, yeah, lorry, it would be called a finger fumbler. <laughs> right. Um, the picture. Mm hmm. The picture. Did someone is get of, fumbled. It's of um, someone pointing at their thumb. He's actually telling the truth, I reckon, because he's trying to put us off by laughing and saying, like. I'm sorry. You, I, you know, like the yellow. I'm sorry. Yellow yeah. yeah. I laughed once. I take this. It's true. Seriously. It's true. No, I think you're. I think it's true. So you think. The equivalent of tongue twisters in American Sign Language 100% language true Are called it's finger fumblers Yes Yeah, it's true Okay Yeah <laughs> I can tell you that it is True! How do you know? I can see it I can see it I knew it So you were cheating? No I look I could see it once you held it up You didn't see this but before they wish me they were going Look in the mirror you can see what you see That's so, I knew it was true Quick Fire, three, two, one, three, two, lie. One, go. In 1987, Princess airport Anne became the first royal to appear on an airport. <laughs> See it, say it, sort it, or a TV panel show. Right. You <laughs> see it, say it, sort it. You've got that off the top of your head. No, she got, she, got, she got that from Virgin Train. <laughs> Got from Virgin Trains are like if you see it, say it, sort it. <laughs> oh my god! So but see it, say it, sort it would be a panel. The panel show is too broad. And then a real specific thing. <laughs> no, you might as well have said strictly and see it, say it, sort it. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Um, I think see it, say it, sort it is a lie. I think the truth is a panel show. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, you'd be right. <laughs> Why the hell did I say see it? That's the joy of quitting. See it, it. Oh, say it, it. sort it. Is that like helping to recycle? Oh my god, I have no idea why see I it. said that. Say it. I was like, sort it. I didn't have anything. Yeah. So Alfie. I didn't. The way I, it was the way I said it, wasn't it? Four. In Russia, on the 12th of September... Whereabouts? whereabouts? It doesn't say whereabouts. Yeah, it's a lie then. There is a public <laughs> holiday to encourage people to make love. So, this picture of a calendar... I don't feel that's very Russian to make love, like to encourage people to make no, love. No, the picture is of two people. So not a calendar. What? You said a picture. Was, you said the picture. That's what it says what at the top. What do people look like? No, you said this, um, you said the picture of a calendar to start with. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you, you literally said. <laughs> oh my. There's two people. No. <laughs> but I think. I think. Do you know what? I think she's double bluffing us. 
Do you want to know what the picture looks like or not? Clever. Are they naked having sex? No. What do they look like? Um, the okay. man Has she got, got a mim out? She got a mim no, out. No mim. No mim. The man, you can't see his face. Right. He's turning one way. Yeah. And then there's a lady, like, hugging him so you can see her face. Um. I think it's true, you know? I think she's trying to do a uh, little sneaky sneaky on us. And I think it's true, Alfie. Do you think? Yep. I think she did it on purpose. Okay. She purposely said at the start, hoping because then they got really excited when we when we said that. So, like, oh no! <laughs> think, yeah. What were they like? <laughs> Shut Bro, you've up! Got a beard growing. I yeah, I know. Should we just I zoom know. in on that? Beard for a moment? <laughs> Camera run out battery.